and image. When I'm talking about Kabir Gya, this is all text. Well, yes, it's text, but because it's WPF, we can extend what is possible inside the sphere by theories of code editing to such an extent that I've got this one on my hand. And I'm able to place, let me drag it up, there we go. It will allow me to place images from inside my project right there in the code window itself, so it all works out. And uh, with WPF, we are able to render it and further have that associated with our code depending on what's appropriate. Now I like any logo, but you can put your email diagrams in there, you can put screenshots in there, whatever you need to add, and of course you can build your own extensions as well. <laughs> so when I say about extensions, you will know that uh, designing and testing your website. First off, construction web is really a tool that is meant for design. Folks for creating the front end of a web app. It has support for ASP.NET and PHP and all that kind of stuff, but its strengths really are in the design side So with the first web, we've got three major things that we focused on, and that was creating, a, creating standards-based applications, being able to build compelling websites, right? being able to make those websites that look nice, and finally making sure that you have the support so that you can create websites that look nice. Office web applications, it allows you to open your client based applications in a browser and treat it exactly like it's a client, yet you don't need a client on your box. And so it's as such easily distributed throughout your organization. Right. So if you want to filter through more, you can filter through it, and you can find exactly the document that you were looking for. Uh, if that is not good enough, you can use search. <coughs> uh, let's say we're looking for try over here. Yes, this is much better. Over here, I can also um, make it. Be.